Welcome to another Photoshop tutorial from tutorvid.com. This tutorial is going to show you how to create an animated GIF like this one with this little cartoon guy smiling back and forth. It's a simple animation with only four frames, which is good if you're going to put something on the web as a avatar or as an ad or something like that. And I'll just start this over from the beginning and delete this file. All right, so the first thing I'm going to create a new image and I'm going to create a 125 pixel wide image which is a typical ad size and background contents I'm going to pick as transparent so it's a see-through GIF and then I'll give it a name and set to go and I'm going to zoom in a little bit control plus will zoom you in now the animation window isn't shown by default so go up to window and click on animation here initially when you're shown the animation window it looks like this which is a timeline view. This is for a little bit more complicated animations, which I'll be covering in another tutorial. For simple animations with only a few frames, it's best just to go in the frame animation, where each frame is one step. So I'm going to create my little man with a ellipse tool and some orange color, and create a circle for his head. If you hold down the shift key, that makes it perfectly round and move him to the center and I'm going to give him some eyes that are white I'm going to quickly duplicate this, hold down the alt key and drag this layer over here and then I'm going to create some googly eyes in there and change those to black move tool with the V, alt click and drag so there we have the basic head now I'm going to create three frames over here three blank frames and I'm going to create the mouth on three different frames you'll see why in a second so select B with the brush D for default colors and that puts black in the foreground and now I'm going to brush I have a pretty small brush if you look up here five pixels wide and I'm just going to create a regular happy face with uh, little cheeks there and then I'm going to create layer two I'm just going to draw over top. If I hide layer one, you can see that I just drew that. And I can create just on one side, layer three. I'm going to create another face, another smile with only a cheek on that side. So now I have layer three with a schmirk on that side, layer two with the schmirk on that side, and layer one, happy guy. All right. So now we're ready to animate this guy. Well, one more thing. These two layers are my googly eyes, and to save me some trouble, I'm going to put them in a group here. So click on this little folder that makes group one, and then I'm going to control click on my two eyes and drag those into the group. Click and drag. Now you can see they're indented a bit in that group. I can roll that down and hide that group. So now when I click on this group with the move tool V, I can move the eyes around as I like. So getting to animation, I'm going to create four frames and I'm going to select the first one. This is how it's going to start out looking. I'm going to turn on the happy face here, move it into place. Now clicking on frame number two, I want to hide this smiley face and put on a side smile and then clicking on group one. I'm going to move the eyes over to the right and now I see frame three is still like it was at the beginning and now I actually want him in the center so that's right and then frame 4 I'm gonna look, make him look to the left and then on group 1 I move the eyes over to the left now on the bottom here you can see the seconds that each frame is set at I want to change that to be only half a second you can pick any amount you want or click other and type in what you want and then the animation, how many times you want it animated, repeated. I want forever, so it just goes around and around, looped. And now I have this little guy looking back and forth. And if you also want to make this animation a little smoother, you can click two frames and then click between these two layers. And that will create a number of frames in between these two frames that sort of make it a smoother transition. I'm actually only using opacity, so I can click those two and if I add five frames 
these five frames slowly merge these two layers. And if you're doing an animated GIF, this is unnecessary because you want to keep the file as small as possible. So I wouldn't recommend that. I would just do a straight jump from frame to frame. All right, so we have our animation done. Go up to File, Save for Web and Devices. Then up here, make sure you have picked a GIF. And a few compression settings here. Make sure you have enough colors that all your colors are showing. This one only has a few colors, so I can pick 16. You might have to pick a bit higher, though, if your GIF is a little complicated. And then down here is the what we really need to look at, which is the animation settings. Make sure it's on forever if you want it to loop through forever. And you can preview it if you want by clicking play. And then just click save and save your image. And then in Windows Explorer, you can double click on it and it'll open up in a browser. And then you can see how your image looks on the net. And that's it. To download the animated GIF or the TIFF file, or to download the HD version of this tutorial, head over to tutorvid.com. <laughs>